Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be troubleshooting a, a side marker. What is a European side marker issue? When I turn on all my lights, my passenger light comes on just fine. But my driver's side, I noticed it wasn't coming on. So I didn't know how to access it at first. Stupid me, I ended up pulling it off. It's okay, I bought some emblem adhesive that I'll be using to, to reinstall this. But uh, when I took a closer look, I noticed that this part had been cut off. There's the bulb that goes in there. I don't know. Previous owner or mechanic, I don't know who did this, but they ended up just clipping it there. So, I don't know where it comes out on this end. As soon as I can turn on my light. Uh, I can't, but I'll get, a, get some light going. I don't know where I can turn it on. Or, I'm sorry, I don't know where the wire comes out on this end. But I do know where it comes out on this end. I've traced it. For now, I've I've unplugged it and uh, see if we can get a see if we can get some better light here. There it is. I unplugged it there from the little housing there, just so I can see. And it does work. And I do notice that the wire colors are. Um, you can't really see it too much. Let me see if I can focus it. Yeah, you can't really see it too well, but the wire colors are blue, gray, and brown. There's just two wires. I was reading a lot about this online, and a lot of people were talking about turn signals and that kind of stuff having three wires, but this one I noticed only has two. I also notice, if you look in here, that's where that wire comes out. It goes into the back, and it's the water, I'm sorry, the wire on the bottom. I, well, that's what it looks like. So I trace, I trace it over to this side, and I see where it's coming out, but it's kind of hard to get back there, so the next thing I'm going to do is remove this plate. I already loosened uh, these four screws, one right there, one down there, one over there, and there's two there, but definitely the one on the right to remove this cover, and then I'll see what that other one is. But uh, once I remove that, that should give me more access to those wires. Here's my hood light. I need to reinstall that. I have that there, but I literally just unplugged it for another project. But uh, I'll be keeping you all up to date. I want to see if I can get this thing fixed. I didn't see many videos uh, on the web for this. Otherwise, I would have been following some kind of instructional. But uh, I do have the elect electronic uh, schematics for this car, but I have no idea how to read it. It's like reading Braille for me. I'm not a mechanic. I'm just a... Uh, I like to tinker with my car. It's, some of the things that I've done to it are pretty basic. But, uh, yeah. Alright, I'll keep y'all posted. Alright, continuation of this video. I went to my local auto parts store and I bought some uh, little butt connectors. These are heavy duty butt connectors for 18 gauge wire. I also bought some shrink tubing. So I exposed the wires. Um, I don't know if I showed in the previous video. I did find where the wire was coming out, so there it is. I went ahead and um, well, clipped it. I'm going to go ahead and expose the wire a bit more and put some of these butt connectors on that as well so that I can link them all together. And I also bought some, um, I think it's 18 gauge, 18 gauge standard wire. So I'll make my connections. All right, I got her up and running. All the lights are on. Got that signal going. Got that one, my fog lights. I just did that work, uh, fog light work last weekend. Headlights, and now I got this guy going. Look at that. Splice it in there. I got my, my flashlights. Hopefully y'all can hear me with the engine sound. So I splice it in here. There's my connection, I don't know if you can see it. I can my phone. Right in here. On. Yeah, you can't see it. You can't see it. But I use the uh, I use some some heat shrink. I use that crimper to put those little pink ends. I'm sorry. 
sorry, the light's kind of bright. Put those pink in. I use a hanger to put it through the little well and put the wrap, make it come all over through the inside. Since I have the hanger over here, I'm going to pull the wire through. Now everything works. Last part, uh, so I got the, I went ahead and removed these little side things and uh, I re-glued them on there using some emblem adhesive, it's this stuff you have, plastic emblem and trim adhesive, hopefully it works, saw in a couple of forms that it's suitable, there's the other one that was off earlier, it's on there good. I can give it one more, one more light check. There we go. So here's a final light check with the engine off. Just turn on the lights there. Probably turn on the headlights, which are why. Just why the two, the two uh, front yellow ones aren't on. If I turn them on, they come on as well. But there's the side one flashing. Um, if there's an emergency or anything like that. I'll be working so. Alright. That concludes the video. Definitely let me know if you have any questions about the process. If you want to see any additional pictures, anything a little more clear, I'd be more than happy to share. Thank you.